Hey everyone, this is Dr. Kazi and in this video, we are going to learn about what is the volume of distribution, how the drug is distributed into various water compartments and finally, how will you determine the apparent volume of distribution. The volume of distribution is defined as the fluid volume which is required to contain the entire drug in your body at the same concentration which was measured in your plasma. Have a look at this diagram. Imagine you inject 1000 milligrams of drug into your bloodstream, into your plasma. Now the concentration of the drug as soon as you inject the drug was 50 milligrams per liter in your plasma. You can determine the volume of distribution by using this formula. Amount of drug in your body. What was the amount of drug, total amount of drug in your body? 1000 milligrams divided by C0. C0 is the plasma concentration at time zero or the plasma concentration as soon as you inject the drug. It was 50 milligrams per liter. So the apparent volume of distribution is the total amount of fluid required to maintain this concentration in all body fluid compartments. You divide 1000 by 50, you get 2 liters. So you need 2 liters of fluid in order to maintain 50 milligrams per liter concentration in every body fluids. Now remember, this is theoretical. It has no physical or physiological basis. The volume of distribution is acceptable when we are comparing it with various water compartments. Now, how the drug is distributed into various water compartments? Before discussing that, let's revise what are the various water compartments in our body. Have a look at this diagram. We know that in case of females and males, we have 45% solids and 40% solid in case of males. Now, the 55% fluid is present in case of female and 60% fluid is present in case of males. Now, out of this total fluid, two by third of the fluid is present inside the cell. So we call that the intracellular fluid. And one by third of this fluid is present outside of the cell. So we call that the extracellular fluid. Now, out of this one by third extracellular fluid, some portion of this extracellular fluid is flowing in your plasma, in your bloodstream. So it is 20% and 80% is in the space around the cell. So it is the interest tissue. Have a look at this diagram. The total amount of fluid which is flowing in your bloodstream, it is plasma, 20% plasma. And around these cells, are the interstitium so 80 percent fluid is present around these cells and inside the cell we have two by third of this 60 percent or the 55 percent fluid it is the two by third intracellular fluid which is inside of these cell now we are ready to discuss how the drug is distributed into various water compartments now the drug can be distributed in your plasma in the extracellular fluid or it can be distributed in all of the water compartments intracellular extracellular as well as in plasma now let's talk about the drugs which are distributed only in the plasma they have high molecular weight they have large sizes so they cannot cross to the endothelial cells have a look the drug is flowing through your bloodstream or the plasma. They have high molecular weight. They cannot cross these endothelial cells to reach this intra interstitial fluid or the intracellular fluid. So the drug is only distributed in the plasma. The example is heparin. It is about 4 liter in the 70 kg mat. Now let's talk about the drugs which are distributed in the extracellular space as well as in plasma. Have a look at this diagram. The drug is flowing through your plasma. It is distributed in your plasma. Now, it has low molecular weight. So it can cross these endothelial cells and through these junctions, it can reach the interstitium, but they are not lipophilic. They cannot enter the cells. So they are only distributed in the plasma and the interest tissue. It is about 14 liter 
in 70 kg man. The example is aminoglycoside. It is distributed in the plasma as well as in the interstitium. They cannot cross this lipid membrane because they are not lipid soluble. Some drugs are distributed in every compartment, in plasma, in extracellular fluid, as well as in the intracellular fluid. Let's talk about those drugs. The ethanol is distributed in the plasma, as well as in the interstitium, as well as in the intracellular fluid. It is about 42 liters in the 70 kg man. Now, how will you determine the apparent volume of distribution? You can do that by plotting a graph cp versus time you take the time on x-axis and cp on y-axis cp is the logarithm of the plasma concentration on y-axis now as soon as you inject the drug the concentration of the drug is maximum with the passage of time the concentration start to decrease now remember this is the distribution phase and this is the elimination phase the distribution phase is when the drug is being distributed into your plasma into your extracellular fluid into your intracellular fluid into various water compartment the elimination phase is when the drug is delivered to your liver to your kidneys to your eliminating organs so the drug is being elimination from the body the concentration start to decrease now you can determine the c naught which is the plasma concentration at time zero by extrapolating this line at time zero and by putting this formula vd is equal to dose divided by c naught you can determine the apparent volume of distribution with the help of this graph for example you inject 10 milligrams of drug in the bolus form the concentration of drug was it at its maximum you need to determine c naught which is the plasma concentration at time zero by extrapolation this line you determine the c naught so it is one milligrams per liter by putting the values the volume of distribution is 10 liters so you need 10 liters of fluid in your body in order to maintain the constant fraction of drug in your body now what is the effect of volume of distribution on drug half-life remember the elimination of the drug depends upon how much drug is being delivered to your eliminating organs for example your kidney your liver more amount of drug is delivered to your eliminating organs the drug concentration will decrease with the passage of time and the volume of distribution will be low when the volume of distribution is high it means that most of the drug is present in your extracellular space it is not available to your plasma to your eliminating organs so it will increase the drug half-life and it will increase the drug effect when the volume of distribution is low it means the drug is available to your eliminating organs to your plasma so the blood will take the drug to your eliminating organs to your kidney and the liver so volume of distribution will be low half-life of the drug will be low because the constant fraction of the drug is being eliminating from your organs this was all about the volume of distribution and to the various water compartments please do like share and subscribe and i will see you in the next video